love and welcome back to my channel it is ijoma here and in today's video we're going to learn how to make this short shift dress with a welt pocket and a placket the neckline has a placket so for this dress you are going to be needing at least three yards of ankara fabric if you're using an ankara you will need like three yards of fabric then for the combination area one yard should be very enough for the combination now this is the fabric that i will be using and we are doing freehand cutting the first thing that i'm going to do is that i will fold out my fabric for now it is two i have folded it into two i'll go ahead and fold it again after folding into two i will fold again so now i have the front piece and the back piece together and we'll be cutting them out together then after that we'll separate and then cut out the front neckline now i am done folding this fabric and the first thing that i'm going to do is that i will trim off the right top this fabric has a right top at the top so i don't want that place to be involved you know this is an ankara i'll go ahead and cut off that right top area then after cutting it you start taking our measurements from there the the first measurement that i would take is my uh, my chest line or the bust point measurement so i want to come down by 11 inches my sleeve will start from this 11 inches you know it is a cut together sleeve then my half length is 17 my shoulder to hip is 27 this is my shoulder to hip this place that i'm marking right now that is my shoulder to hip then from there i'll measure the full length i want the full length to be 35 plus 2 inches for hemming now i'll go ahead and connect the lines after connecting the lines we are going to mark our neckline our sleeve you know that it is a cut together sleeve the sleeve was not fixed separately now after marking these lines i'll go ahead and measure 2.5 for the neck width if you want you can use three inches for the neck width but i want the neck to be very close to my neckline i used 2.5 for the neck width then for the front neckline I want it to come down to 11 inches you can even bring it down to 12 then you go in by one inch one inch before you connect the v shape you know the front neckline has a v shape so you are going to come in by one inch before you connect that v shape then for the back neckline the depth of the neckline will be 1.5 inch 1.5 inch now i'll go ahead and connect the back neckline the next thing that we are going to measure is the sleeve but before we do that we measure our shoulder our shoulder is 8 inches then my sleeve is 12 inches long after getting your shoulder from your shoulder you get your sleeve length then this area where i'm marking this line is my sleeve i'll connect my sleeve from the shoulder down to that chest line or bust point line the 11 inches that i marked now at my waist this shift dress will be a kind of fitted around the waist area i will come in i'll divide my waist by four then i'll add like three inches for ease so that it will be somehow fitted at the waistline then at the hip line after dividing your hip you will also go ahead and add four inches for ease or three inches for ease it is up to you if you want your hip to be very defined fine then from there you will connect a straight line down to the full length after doing this i will go ahead and cut out After cutting out the back neckline, we will separate the front piece from the back piece. So after separating this piece, I noticed that the front piece has a dent and I don't want to use that area. Now, I will remark my neck, my front neckline on this particular one. I want to use this one as the front piece of this gown. I will go ahead and remark my front neckline you know i told you guys that the neck depth for my front is 11 inches right so i'll come down by 11 inches from the shoulder i'll come down by 11 inches then from that 11 inches you will go in by one inch the essence of going in by that one inch is for that placket 
this is 11 inches then from that place that i marked 11 inches i will go in by one inch before marking the v this place that i'm leaving is for our plaquettes like the band around the neckline i hope you understand that band is two inches wide so you know if we open up this one inch it will be two inches i marked one inch on full so if you open it it will be two inches that is the area that will accommodate the placket around your neckline now i'll go ahead and cut off the front neckline after cutting it out i'll open it up so that you can see what it looks like now the next thing that we are going to do is to fix our welt pocket you know this dress is simple but it is somehow technical then we are going to measure from our shoulder down to where we want this um what pocket to be but before you do that you will determine your midpoint and this pocket for me i am slim my pocket will be three inches away from the midline from the center line of the front then from the shoulder i want it to start at 17 inches like i want each of them to start at 17 inches they will be three inches away from the center and it will start from 17 inches from the shoulder like basically you can say that it will start from the half length then i want the width of this welt pocket to be 4.5 you can make it five inches if you want it to be too wide and you can see the way i am slanting the line you mark a slanted line where you want to fix your welt pocket the welt pocket is not straight then i'll also place my tape from that 17 inches that i'll come down by four and a half at the other side and i will slant the line this is the shape that the welt pocket we have then after doing this we are going to place a a piece two pieces on these lines you know you will combine your ankara so you are free to decide the color you want to combine with this is the fabric that i'll be combining with and if you are doing this please add interface to your fabric but this fabric that i'm using is a kind of strong so i did not really add an interface to it now the fabric you are adding should be like let's say six inches long and six inches wide it should be up to six inches though my own is not up to six inches wide but the length is like six inches now that line you marked on your fabric you will transfer it to this particular fabric now you can see that i am marking the line so that they will align with the one i marked on my fabric then you place your tape this way and you will mark your straight line it will still remain that 4.5 then you mark another line and this second one that I'm marking will be half an inch away from the first line that i marked you can see the shape i marked there so the distance between these two lines now is half an inch this is half an inch and like i said you should have enough fabric so that it will be enough for your welt pocket shape now this is what i have on this side i will repeat the same thing on the other side i'll place a piece of fabric there you place a piece of fabric in a slanted manner then you transfer all those measurements you got on your fabric you transfer it to this um fabric because this is the fabric that you will use for your welt pocket and pin down this piece and like i said add your add your interface add an interface to this fabric so that you don't have difficulties now i will go ahead and mark two lines the lines that i marked on the other fabric i'll repeat the same thing on this particular fabric i'll go ahead and mark two lines and these two lines will be half an inch away from each other like you will have half an inch space so your tape will guide you just place your tape this way mark your first line and remember the length the wideness of this pocket will be 4.5 like i said you can make it five if you want so i'll go ahead and mark that first line then from this first line i will go in by half an inch i'll go in by half an inch so after marking these lines what i'm going to do next is that i will go ahead and run a straight stitch on each of the lines i'll go ahead and run a straight stitch on each of the lines and i will not close the stitch hold. i'll just i'll just run two parallel lines on these lines that i marked they will not be closed now you go ahead i will use a black thread so that you can understand just go ahead and run two lines on those lines that i marked there that is for the welt pocket do not close the sides of these lines that i marked you can see i am done closing 
and i did and i'm done running a stitch on those lines and i did not close the other side i don't know if you can see my thread very well if you turn the back the back is still closed now you are going to open the middle of these lines then you go ahead and cut you can see the way i am cutting when you reach the end of the line just give it like a triangular notch when you get when you are approaching the end give it a triangular notch and it should not cross that 4.5 then i'll open the other one as well i'll open the center and when i'm approaching the end i'll give it a triangular notch your notch should not cross that 4.5 line remember or five inches it depends on what you are using you can see the triangular notch i'm giving them now after notching this i will fold it in just take your time fold it in and iron ironing is really really important you can see the way i am folding them in so just take your time and push this fabric inside after pushing it inside you can see the space we have there for now you have that five that half an inch sorry you have half an inch gap now you can see you have a half an inch opening and remember i did not close this the side the ends of this 4.5 inch that i measure so just take your time and iron very well this is very important just take your time and iron very well you also push out the other one this place that they are facing is the wrong side of this fabric remember all those markings that i did i did them on the right side of the fabric now i am turning them over to the wrong side of the fabric this place that i'm ironing is the wrong side of the fabric then after ironing you are going to fold the one side of this um piece from the from the right side of the fabric this is what it looks like it looks plain now right you have your opening now you are going to push up your red part the part of the, uh, the down part of this um welt pocket you are going to push it up so that they will be seeing the color the color combination so you can see i am pushing up the the lower piece you know after folding out that fabric we have one at the top and one at the down so the one at the down part i am folding it out so that people will be seeing the red part from this area so if you fold it it should look like it is almost closing that space there so after folding you go ahead and iron i'll turn the back so that you can see what it looks like from the back then we are going to do the same thing at the other side that this is the reason why i said that your, the wideness of your piece should be up to six inches too so that after folding out that part you will still have excess fabric that excess fabric is very important so now i added or water to it so that it will relax very well so just folding one fold up the lower piece so that it will look like it is almost covering the pocket it should cover the pocket space you have there because that is the beauty of it now from the right side of the fabric you can see the shape we have we'll fold the other parts you can see the way i'm folding it upwards so that it will close that pocket space we have there After doing that, you can add a little water on it or you can use a steam iron to iron very well so that it will relax. So after doing this, you are going to run a stitch at the side so that this fabric will not be coming to the right side of it. Like just to hold it in place, you will have to stitch them at the side so that they will not be coming to the right side. Now, if you turn your fabric, you will just run a small stitch at the side run a small stitch at the side and that triangular knot should be among the pieces that you hold together so just go ahead and run a stitch at the side and at the end of the day this is what we have now this welt pocket is in place now it will not be coming to the front we are going to cut out a piece for the inner pocket you know that if you insert your hand you have you will find an inner pocket inside right now this is the fabric that i am cutting out for the inner pocket and it should be on fold after cutting it out you are going to 
place it inside it should be inside so that when you insert your hand you po you will find the pocket inside so i'll go ahead and attach it to the down part of the gown of the welt pocket sorry this is the down piece of the welt pocket i'll attach it there first just use a little allowance to attach it to the lower part of the welt pocket add it to the lower part of the world's pocket you'll find an allowance there so after holding it down there i am done holding it down there after holding it down there you will see how it looks you will now fold it upwards you will fold it upwards and then you will join it to the upper piece of the world's pocket then you can now close the sides of the pocket you can see what i have here i will fold it up and then i'll go ahead and join it to the top piece and then i'll close the side now our pocket is ready if you insert your hand inside you'll find a pocket there if you want you can top stitch on this welt pocket so that it will be in place now the next thing that we are going to do is that we will close the shoulder area after closing the shoulder area we will add our our border at the sleeve area you know that it has a combination at the sleeve area after closing the shoulder you add that combination at the sleeve area then you can now fix your neck placket i will use half an inch to join the shoulder after joining the shoulder this is what i have you can see the inside you can see my pockets inside it is looking neat and beautiful now we will open this gown up this way and i will cut out a fabric this fabric should be like three inches on fold it should be like three inches on unfold it should be on fold so just take your time and iron it very well you will have two pieces of this fabric that i am ironing now one for the right sleeve and one for the other sleeve so after ironing i'll make sure that i have like 2.5 or three inches there then i will use it to turn the sleeve you will sew from the inside first then you will turn it to the right side of the fabric and then run a stitch on it so if you are watching this video you should have a basic knowledge of how to make a cut together dress so i'm trimming the fabric just to make sure that the measurement is equal then after doing this i'll place it i'll sew from the inside first then i'll turn it over to the right side now i am done doing that on both sleeve and they are looking fine now they are very fine right now so the next thing that i will do is to measure my round neck if you measure your round neck you can use it to cut out your placket so remember when we are cutting our front neckline we went in by one inch so this one inch is now two inches that space there is two inches I have two inches space there so that means our placket will be 2.5 two inches plus half an inch for the joining allowance you know you will join your placket to your neckline so this is the fabric that i'll be using and it is on fold i'll go ahead and measure 2.5 2.5 two inches is for the gap for the placket then half an inch is for the seam allowance so you go ahead and cut out a long piece it should be two and a half two and a half and the length of this piece should be up to 25 inches so that after running around the neck you can cut off so now you will start from here and you will run this band round to neckline so before you start so you notch it a bit just like half an inch half an inch notch then you start from one side just start from one side and then sew round your neckline and when you get to the other side just stop when you get to the other side other side of this neckline stop there don't well, close that area so now i am done running this um band round my neckline i am trying to arrange it so this is uh, our neckline you can see the area that i notched you push this one in this shorter part you push it in then the other one will overlap it the remaining parts of this piece will now overlap the first one so just go ahead and determine how long you want this placket to be so for me i want it to stop around the half length i cut the remaining piece off from there now after cutting it off i will go ahead and iron i'll fold in half an inch at that side i'll go ahead and iron in the remaining half an inch you know we have 2.5 there so you iron it so that you have two inches 
take your time and iron in that seam allowance very well so when you get to the end of this placket you can now give it a v-shape you will fold in your v-shape so make sure that it is overlapping the other one so when you get to the end fold it and give it a v-shape so i'll place it this way and i'll pin down iron first of all so that when you are sewing it will not be too difficult for you so after ironing pin it down so that you can have a good look of what you are going to sew so after pinning this down when you get your sewing machine you will just run two stitches at the sides of these plaquettes I'll just run a stitch on the right side and on the left side of this placket and it should overlap the other one it should overlap it a bit now after running that stitch this is what we have the next thing is just to close the side we just go ahead and join the side of this gown this is what you have and it is very okay like this i'll just close the side of this gown then i will use like one inch or two inches to hem the down part and that is all for this gown i hope this tutorial is helpful if you have any question just feel free to drop the question in my comment section and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be notified we are registration for our online classes is ongoing so you can register with us see you all in my next video bye